Hello everyone, my name is Mie Bakuya and you are watching the Hebron Hawkeye series, Life of a Band Kid. In this series, I talk about the stuff that I encounter while being in the Hebron band. I know by the time I'm uploading this video, it's probably been like forever since state happened. Even now as I'm recording, it's been quite a while since I've been on the state trip. But the topic of this video is going to be about my state trip. So following my last video, that's where I talked about actually auditioning for state and all that whole process. This video is like all the fun stuff. So the trip started, we had to all meet up at Louisville High School. I was running a little bit late, so we took a photo and I'm not in that photo and it's because I was late, so I wasn't there on time to take the photo with everyone else. Anyways, so we had to all meet at Louisville High School, then that's where we all loaded on the buses. It wasn't just Hebrew band kids, there were also choir kids and there were also kids from other schools. The bus ride was all right. I basically slept the entire time. We did take a pit stop at Bucky's, but other other than that, we basically just drove all the way to San Antonio. We unloaded once we finally got to San Antonio and we all had to meet up at the Lila Cockerell Theater. So when we got off the bus and into the theater, we had to take some things with us like our instrument and like our music for state and stuff like that because after we got into the theater, then we had to go to sectionals. So we went to the Lila Cockerell Theater and we had a little meeting. We got to see all the presidents and important people and staff that were basically running the whole TMEA state trip. After the little meeting, we then had to go to sectionals and it was different for everyone because it was based on what instrument you play. It was also based on what band you were in. Most of the kids at Hebron made it into symphonic band. So we all stayed at the Henry B. Gonzalez Center because that's where all the symphonic band kids were gonna be. We all went to the same area and then we went to our different little rooms. When I got to my room for sectionals, it was honestly a little bit scary. And it's not cause like I'm intimidated by the better players or whatever, because I'm pretty chill when it comes to hearing better players. That's something that I don't really care about. First of all, I was the only girl in that room. And some of you might be thinking, oh, like stop being so dramatic, like being a girl in a room full of boys, like that's not that bad. I don't think you've experienced what it's like being around all boys that are in band. Anyways, so other than the fact that I was being dominated by the male population in that room, I was also kind of scared because fun fact, if you are a girl and happen to play the contra bass clarinet or really any low read instrument, there's gonna be at least one or two or like multiple weird creepy dudes that are gonna hit on you. Again, I don't mean to generalize all guys. If you're a guy that plays contra bass, no shade to you. I'm trying not to be mean or whatever, but just in my personal experience, both years that I've been to state, I was at least hit on by one weird dude. This year was no different because during sectionals, you know, we played our music, we like ran through a little bit of stuff. Then we got a little bit of a break. And so during that break, obviously, you know, people are social, people are chatting and stuff like that. And you know, I knew I was the only girl, but I wasn't gonna let that stop me. You know, I can talk to people. So I was talking to some of the guys that were in that room. I remember this interaction so well because it was so weird. I was talking to this one kid from the same like Louisville ISD area. I was just like, how's your state trip going so far? And he was like, oh yeah, it's going fine. And so I responded like, oh yeah, that's that's great. You know, like good for you. And then he replied with not as good as your face. When he told me that, I could physically hear the crickets in the background. That was so awkward and uncomfortable for me. I tried playing it off as like a little joke. Like, ah, 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 you're so funny. Ah, ah. But after that interaction, I stopped talking to people in that room. I went into a little corner and was on my phone for the rest of the time. Once we, you know, got through that terrifying experience and then got through the rest of the sectionals playing through our music, we were basically done for the day. All us Hebrew kids, we met back together and we walked to our hotel, which it was like five minutes away from the Henry B. Gonzalez Center. So we put all our stuff up, like our luggages, our instruments, all our music stuff. And after that, we went to Dave and Buster's to eat dinner. And yeah, interesting choice to eat dinner, but to be fair, it was like not super crowded. So that was probably why we ate there. The food wasn't great, but you know, we all had a good time anyways. We were all chatting and joking around. After dinner, we went back to the hotels, you know, we got stuff set up and we went to sleep because the next day was kind of when the state trip really started. Something that I've mentioned in kind of my past videos about band trips and stuff, I've mentioned how strict the schedule is and normally we have to like wake up 6 a.m. right on the dot and then get ready because then we have to be out the door by 7 a.m. This trip's a little different. Like I said, it's a lot more relaxed and a lot more easygoing. We still had to wake up because we still had to like go to sectionals, but 
we woke up more around like 8 a.m. So that gives us enough time to, you know, get ready, but also eat breakfast. And then sectionals started at 9 a.m. Now, sectionals aren't really that bad. It's honestly just like you play through the music, kind of going through all the pieces, making sure you can play stuff correctly. If you learn the music on your own, you're going to be fine. You'll survive. Really, the challenge of doing sectionals is just that you're sitting in the seat for so long, you get physically tired or you're, you're just so bored. You can get brain dead when you're sitting there for that many hours. Other than that, it's pretty easy. We played through the music and then it was around 12 p.m. where we got to have a break for lunch. And we get like a two hour break, which you would think, oh, like two hours is such a long time. But not if you're in San Antonio, Texas, where there's so many tourists and other band people there. So if you're going to go to like any nice restaurant to eat food, then there's going to be like a long wait. But it was fine. All us Hebron kids, we got to eat together as a group. We all kind of just stuck together, most of us, especially because a lot of us were in the same band. So might as well just all stay together. So we all had our little lunch. And then after that, we return to sectionals around 2 p.m. Again, same process. We go through the music. You're sitting there for hours at a time. And then after that, we have our dinner break, which is around 5 p.m. And the first real day of the state trip is kind of brutal because we have three three-hour sectionals. So after dinner, we had to then go back again to the Henry B. Gonzalez Center for another sectional routine. By this point, we're all tired. We're all sleepy. We're all wanting to get out. So it's only like two hours this time. And so once we slog through that last third round of sectionals then we're finally free we get released around like 9 p.m and since the state trip is really lenient and it isn't on such a tight schedule once you're out of sectionals then you don't have to like rush back to your hotel or anything like that we walk back to the hotel and we kind of just like relax in our hotel rooms after that the next day of the state trip it was a little bit similar except we had a lot more free time. Like I said, same schedule. So sectionals start at 9 a.m. We end around 12 p.m. to have our lunch. Then after that, we have sectionals again at 2 p.m. But then once those sectionals ends at 5 p.m., we basically have the whole night off. That's because they have both the honor band TMA program and they also have this like college program thing they're going on, which is basically just trying to get you interested in colleges and some stuff is like music major related. So basically just like a college night. But us Hebrew kids, we were like, we're good and instead we spent that whole evening just having fun walking around the riverwalk area it was also not the best though since it's such a touristy area the wait time for food is such a long time i remember we waited like three hours to get seated at a restaurant because we checked in and then they were like it'll be like 30 minutes and then we waited 30 minutes came back and they were like it's like another 30 minutes and we kept doing that we were just waiting around and we were walking around the riverwalk area as we were waiting and then it added up eventually to three hours and then we finally got to be able to sit down at a restaurant and start eating basically that whole night we just had a lot of fun because really we were just like having fun in san antonio obviously fun times can't last forever because the next day which is the last day that's when we had one more sectionals and we also had the concert again similar routine 9 a.m we had sectionals but then after those sectionals were over we had the afternoon off that's because after those sectionals then all the bands have to start doing their performances since there's so many bands they have to spread them out evenly so like they don't collide with each other but also so that each band gets enough time to perform so since the majority of us were in either the orchestra or in the symphonic band we had the majority of the afternoon off because we were just waiting until our concert time which is around like 7 p.m again we were kind of just killing time while we were waiting for our performance time to start so we were like walking around the river walk we went to places to eat at and look at eventually the orchestra people had to go on without us because their performance time was earlier than the symphonic band kids eventually some of our parents actually showed up to watch the performance and so the rest of us we all kind of agreed let's just go to our parents and rest in a hotel room until our performance time starts so that's what i did i remember i had to walk all the way from my hotel to my parents hotel after that i got to see my family again and i got to rest for a little bit so that was nice then around 7 p.m ish that's when we had to start getting back again i was late to showing up on time i think it was because i took a nap and lost track of time and didn't realize how long i was sleeping for and so i was panicking when getting back to the henry b gonzalez center because i was like shoot like i'm gonna be late but you know i ended up living it's okay they didn't like persecute me on the spot for being a little bit late we weren't like too stressed out because again this whole experience is just to have fun it's not a big serious event where you have to do your very best after we warmed up we got to the lila cockerel theater which is like, that stage is where we perform so we got there and you know just had a good time playing music after we were done we were all like kind of relieved because you know, the trip is finally over this was like one of the last big band events that happens for us hebron kids 
And so after the performance was over, we started packing up and then we went outside of the convention center and we all took a photo together. Basically after that, we're done. The trip is over. Honestly, if I would have to give an honest review of this trip, I would say this is low-key the best band trip I've ever been on. I think one of the things that makes a band trip good or really any school trip is to be surrounded by people that you care about and they care about you and basically people you can depend on. Because having friends with you on a trip is really what makes those band trips fun for people and the last two years I've been in band I didn't really have friends so those trips for me they were basically nothing for me because I didn't have anyone meaningful I could spend that time with and since I'm a senior and the other kids that went to the state trip most of them were also the same grade as me basically they were all just people that I already knew and that I could trust and I knew they were good people because of that this experience was kind of strange for me because it was one of the trips that I actually enjoyed that's not to say any of the other trips were awful horrible but if I had to compare definitely the state trips the best not only was I with people that you know, I actually somewhat cared about and that actually cared about me it was a lot more relaxed it's not such a tight schedule where you're constantly stressed out it was a fun trip. It was basically like a regular trip with classmates and then on the side is like some band stuff But yeah, I hope you all enjoyed watching this video Honestly, I don't know if this will be my last video or like second to last. I don't really know It's just because that this state trip that I went on It's one of the last major events that band students have and I'm a senior So it's not like I have anything big and upcoming that I have to wait for since I already experienced the state trip after that now It's kind of just like I'm just running to the finish line, waiting for the season to end. So whether this is my last video or second to last video or who knows, I hope you've all enjoyed watching my videos. I know I've had a good time making these videos for you guys. I hope these videos have inspired y'all in some way. I remember I've had lots of younger kids saying like, oh, I've seen your videos, like they're so cool. In a way that's heartwarming to me knowing that there's like people out there that actually watch these videos. I hope that this kind of inspires one of y'all or like multiple of y'all. Go start your own band series. If you're from a different school, like, give this perspective of like a Flower Mound kid or like a Marcus kid or maybe not even in Texas. I've had some people comment how they're from a totally different state. You guys can make videos too. It's just that I'm glad that I've made an impact on some kids and given it entertainment to those younger kids whether they're in high school or they're in middle school and they're coming into high school i hope these videos have kind of provided a, an interesting perspective and kind of introduced you to the idea of hebron band and what it's like to you know be a band kid but yeah thank you all so much for watching this video and i hope you all enjoyed